so uh, I think we have a first question uh, on, on the chat room. Let me read it out. Uh, hello, everyone. May I ask how has COVID-19 impacted your career in ophthalmology and the role of doctor in general, Dr. Afizan? The second question, what is your everyday work life as a doctor look like? So uh, over to you, Dr. Fee. Um, so uh, I would, um, should we answer the COVID one first, I think? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah? So with regards to the pandemic, um, it has slowed everything down. Um, as you guys are all aware, not just you know in my profession, but for you guys as well, I'm sure you felt it too. So um, what was great that was done by Ministry of Health was that the actions were taken very, very swiftly. And I was very impressed with that. The leadership has been so strong and compassionate and brilliant. And we even made the planning way before the first case was ever announced. So we kind of knew how to de-escalate the services so that we had enough room to uh, redistribute our manpower to the right places like, um, you know, the sports center where people are being tested, the flu clinics and the isolation centers, etc. So that's what we had to do. So we had to go to these meetings to discuss how, how do we um, cut down our services, firstly to reduce traffic and secondly, so we can redistribute our manpower. So that had to be done. And the the bigger problem was, uh, you know, kind of rescheduling a lot of the patients and surgeries that we had to do. We had to stop all our elective surgeries. We were only doing emergency surgeries, um, you know, up to that point. And even the cases that we saw in clinic were mostly elective, uh, sorry, sur uh, emergency cases or cases that needed to be seen. Um, and in terms of our um, work, as I said, you know, it made us kind of slow down quite a lot. Like it gave us a lot of time to reflect on what we've done and it gave us a lot of time to actually talk to patients because you know as i said patients who came to us were really serious cases so you actually had time to sit down and kind of discuss with them you know what to do etc so yeah that was what was interesting about what's happened and honestly um, right now we are in the kind of de-escalation phase meaning you know we're slowly starting to ramp up our services again uh, but at the same time, we still have to be ready for, you know, any possible future waves of, you know, more COVID-19 cases coming up in the future. So. Oh, this is interesting. Hi, doctor. For those by Johnny, for those who fail their final year in medicine slash surgery, can they still work in business admin in a private clinic? The answer is yes, of course. <laughs> I think that would be, you know, I think that would be quite good, huh? That's a good um, option. Um, what else? <laughs> That's a nice, short and sweet answer. <laughs> yeah, because, think, yeah, I mean, it, it would be good, right? Um, obviously, you know. Um, if you're the boss. <laughs> yeah, if you're the boss and no, you... if you are the boss. You are, oh, I was the boss, meaning? Uh, no, you said yes. <laughs> yes, yeah. Oh, sorry, I misunderstood the question. Maybe they meant, oh, if they failed. Oh, well, I guess you need a degree in business administration before you can, but of course you can. Okay, why don't you choose then, Sean? Okay, uh, let me see. The, uh, I like Aju's question, you know. Uh, advice for those whose passion is slowly burning down, dying passion, you know. Uh, uh, yourself, Dr. Fee, do you ever feel like you, you drag yourself to work? How, how, do, you, uh, uh, how do you bounce back? Um, at times, yes, especially when it's difficult. Um, I would say for me, um, it boils down to my, my moral compass. So I have two values that, um, that helps me go through these difficult times, especially you know when things are kind of uh when you feel kind of burnt out uh it's growth and contribution those two values that i really hold close to my heart so whatever it is that i do um you know at work like you said dragging yourself to work yeah we've had days like that so what i try to do is to focus you know what can i do to add value to someone's life today and when i focus on these values it helps me come to work 
in a much better mood and it helps me focus on the thing that really matters, which is, you know, the people that you're serving, be it your patients or even the people you work with, like the nurses or your colleagues, you know, it doesn't matter. You have to have these, you know, values to hold on to, especially when times are tough. I would say hold on to that. So always asking your why. Yeah, or make sure whatever values that you have, kind of hold on to it. When times are hard, do you look into that moral compass again and see, okay, why am I here? You know, in this, why am I going in this direction? Just remind yourself again, your why, your purpose. For me, it's those two things.